Okay. So now let's get to also the more fun part. It's not like what we talked about wasn't fun, but uh, so Arithmus, it is our goal uh, to help, you know, uh, everybody within the Arithmus family and the more, more like more especially people with, because everybody is coming with some skill sets from other areas, uh, people who have, uh, you know, some uh, business skills or business a twist to their skill sets. Uh, we wanted to put in something that is going to help uh, people at the same time, you know, they are learning and they are also, you know, making some uh, income. And at the end of the day, people who really take it serious will be able to set up shop as consultants on their own, right? So uh, it's a big program, but we have to start from somewhere, right? And we've been nurturing this uh, program for a while. And I think we're just going to talk about it today. And next week, we are still fine tuning certain things. So hopefully, uh, if everything is said and done, next week, we are going to roll it out, right? And uh, so for, let me give you a gist about the, how this whole program is for the PCI DSS, uh, Arithmetic PCI DSS Partnership Program. Uh, so as I was talking early, uh, about earlier, that PCI DSS is uh, one area that you can really, you know, make something out of. Uh, for yourself. Uh, what we are doing is right now, you cannot obviously set up a PCI consultant firm and you know be doing stuff on your own, but we want to kind of set you on that path and guide you. So what we intended doing was to have, and like I was talking about for QSAs, for QSA companies or companies that can do an audit within the US, we are not that much, 150. Uh, not even at, at 150 ish, right? There is a lot of work to be done because guess what? Everybody and their mom is accepting credit card and debit cards. Big companies, small. Even if you take just take a company like Walmart, how many uh, locations does Walmart has? How many PCI uh, QSAs do they need for each? you know, uh, 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 like store within maybe just like, let's say maybe just within New Jersey or within Georgia, the, like the, the states or even half of the states, you know? And for us, we are almost like booked ahead and, you know, like re really busy because there is, and we cannot really reach every company. We cannot work with every company, but you can. So what we intended to do is we're going to partner or have you partner with us and for our partners, after the screening process and everything, those that we are going to be selected to be part of this program, uh, we are going to take them through some little business class and also take them through PCI DSS, uh, not full-blown PCI DSS, but enough uh, for you to really, you know, talk to a company and tell them, hey, we can do A, B, C, D for you, A, B, C, D for you, right? So if uh, you approach one or two companies, they give you like the nap. Okay, so now let's talk. Now we will come together. We will, you know, uh, get the uh, gig uh, and we will work with you on it. And you get a commission on every job that we get. And also like the good part about it is this. So let's say uh, you are able to get, uh, talk to a company. Hey, you know, I'm with Arithmus. We are a QSA company. We can help you. We can do your assessment for you. And the company is, okay, sure, you know, come in. Let's sit down and uh, let's sit down with you and uh, your uh, uh, group and let's talk, you know, so we talk, okay, we'll do the audit for you at this price, right? Uh, you get a commission out of that or you get a percentage of it. Now, when we are all set and we are doing the job, guess who is going to be part of the team working on that assessment? You, right? So if that company, so now that company uh, came through you, so they are on your portfolio, right? Although we will do like we will do the work with you and sign it, sign off on it. Now you are learning how the job is being done, you know. So if you do one, two, three, four gigs with you, and we are moving ahead, uh, there are other programs in place that we can even get you as a uh, an, uh, an associate QSA, right? But all that is way down the line. But uh, it is people who are going to take it seriously and really make you 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 can make something really big out of this, or you can just you know stay where you are, right? So. We are partner with you. We are, uh, so now you can, you know, show you how to even approach companies, who to talk to, 
And it's not like you are trying to sell them something. It's something they need, right? Like they need this already, but some companies, they, like, they don't even know where to go to look for a QSE, right? And if they have somebody doing their audits already, we went through the whole list of services that a QSA company offers, right? So we can do GAP analysis for them. We can, but then we will take you through GAP analysis. What exactly are we going to be doing? What exactly are we going to be doing? So you will know exactly what we are talking about, right? So when you approach a company, hey, you know, we can do A, B, C, D for you. If they are like, oh, sure. I mean, we even need that. We work together. You get, so you are getting paid on that, but still now you are learning, right? For our students, this is going to be a big class. Uh, for non-students, we're going to allow just, you know, just a handful because there's going to be, even like during the job, uh, we are going to show you some of the stuff. But for our students, it's going to be very easy and, you know, like something really on the lines of what they've done so far. Uh, so, uh, and also we were planning on even making it where, not planning on making it, this is how we are going to make it. Uh, we are not going to be working as individuals, so for the whole cohort, uh, you guys will be working in teams and groups. So let's say I'm in team one, we are like six. If one person gets uh, a gig, we all work on the gig together, but that one person is the one who is gonna get paid. Another person within the team gets a gig. And like what I was about to say that I just ran off. So for com companies have to stay in compliance annually. So if you have a company that, you know, is like a company that came through you, that company is on your portfolio. So every year we have to do an assessment for them if they are still maintaining us. That means every year you're gonna get paid for that. So if you have four companies, it means four times within the year we are working with them and you're getting paid on it, right? And like later on, we can easily set you off and you can just be working with them, even though you cannot be doing the assessment and whatnot. But if it's not just assessments, that they need uh, and it's other stuff if we work with you for a while you know we can bless you off and now you're going to be the like the guy or the girl who is fully uh, working on this right so uh, this is the program now who is eligible uh, all our students are eligible <laughs> non-students we are going to come up with a criteria right so there's going to be some screening on that part uh, for non-students but you know mostly if you meet the criteria, then you are going to be eligible, right? But the criteria is still being worked on. Uh, how does this work? I've explained that, right? So you get paid on uh, each job that comes through you and you also work on that job and that company becomes, is part of your portfolio. So if you have five companies and we are doing audits for maybe one of them is like 120, 180, uh, maybe 300 and whatever percentages that you are getting, it's going to be way up there, right? So you can be doing your normal full-time job as a PCI, uh, somebody somewhere, or just a cybersecurity pro uh, like professional somewhere, or even just doing your normal job you're doing right now, right? But still be learning uh, on the job and still be making money, right? So, but we will walk you through the whole entire process and steps. Uh, so it's, a, it's a, like, it's a really good program. You know, I'm really excited about it and uh, everybody here is excited about it. Uh, when will the program begin uh, to be determined? But in the very short future, uh, maybe within the next uh, month and a half, two months. Uh, what do I need for this program? So for our students, obviously they, they don't need anything because they have the knowledge and the skill uh, to a certain degree already. Uh, but for anybody coming from the outside, if you, we bring you on board, we point you in the right direction as to what you need. Uh, how do you make money out of the program is what, how we talked about. Uh, and I mean, uh, how do you learn PCI DSS during the program is also what we do. So now you are learning on the job, right? Whatever we're doing, you are in it, learning on the job. And also whatever group that we will assign you to, your group, you'll be helping your group too if you are the one who is always getting the gigs, right? And there is a really like no limits to uh, how many gigs you can get with this project, uh, who to approach or who to talk to. I mean, is it easy bidding for, so you are not, no, so uh, Linda, you're not bidding for contracts. And when it comes to bidding for contracts, it's not even you. I mean, we like we bid for the contracts. 
but for PCI, you don't have to go bid for a contract. They need it, right? It's like, uh, how do I even put this? Uh, it, like uh, nobody has to come and bid for you to go buy a, like a bottle of water or like water for your house. You need it, so you are you have to go get it. So what if somebody just came to your door and be like, you know what? We have like water that we are selling is really, you know, uh, at a very good price. We're going to supply you every day at this. You are sure. I mean, bring it in. They don't have to convince you to get it, right? So uh, you are not going to be bidding for a contract. That is not what this program is about. Right? Uh, are you looking for project manager? Uh, if yes, I need. Okay. Okay, uh, uh, Lumen, we will talk about that. What if I work as a PCI specialist and I introduce you to our uh, USA? Do I get a commission for introducing your company? Oh, yes. So, uh, yes. So, DG, you get a commission. We also, like, whatever we are working on, you also preview to it. And, like, you also get to. Uh, uh, let, so let's say you are at like you are the QSA, uh, you are the uh, PCI subject matter expert for your company, right? And you introduce uh, uh, arithmetic to your company to do the assessment. Yes, you still do get a commission on it, right? And we are working with you on the assessment, anyways. But what for you for for this instance, what we can do is we will let you see the backside of the audit as well. Not saying that we're going to catch you in this slack if you don't pass a requirement, we're going to pass you, we're not going to do that, right? But we'll let you see like the process and how everything goes. So we're kind of going to take you backstage and let you see like what is going on, you know? Uh, so yes. And another question, can we bid on state? Uh, so uh, Freddie, yes, I mean, if you think you have some expertise bidding on uh, state, uh, uh like a contract but really i mean that is too much work you don't even have to bid for any state anything i mean if you want to uh do an audit for let's say uh, what company comes even to my uh like any retail company within your like vicinity you don't need like a contract just approach them but we'll show you who to approach and who to talk to right most people if if you just talk to some people they'll look at you funny because they don't even know what PCI DSS is, right? They don't have PCI DSS. What is it? Oh, uh, Frank said, when would the application form be out? I'm interested. Okay, Frank, we, we will keep you posted. Uh, I was going up and reading. Okay, so DG, I answered DG. Can you bid Fred, uh, Freddy? Uh, so it's not really about, so bidding state contracts is uh, like a whole different book. <laughs> so, so it's not that easy. It's, it's a lot of uh, work uh, because we we like we've we we've done like a couple of states uh, contract biddings. So Fred, I went to a very small uh, local plant nursery yesterday and buy some food seedings, and they were accepting credit card. This is a, okay. Uh, George, if your company uses third party. Uh, payment system, example, Square or Stripe on their website to accept payments, would they still need to be, uh, would they still need PCI DSS assessment? Yeah, so George, uh, good question. So if your company is using a third party like Stripe, and, and I will just even take it like a step further from uh, what uh, George is uh, uh, talking about. So remember, I was talking about for your company to uh, be obligated to you know, stay in compliance with PCI DSS, your company has to uh, store, process, or transmit cardholder data, right? Now, if you uh, transfer that responsibility to a third party, like Square or Stripe, and you don't see anything about the card, you don't have, all that you, you do is Stripe will take it and pay you back, then it's Stripe who has to stay in compliance with PCI DSS. So not necessarily because you don't touch anything, but you still have a responsibility. It's not all free. You have to make sure that Stripe or whoever your third party is, is staying in compliance with PCI DSS. Because if they don't, 
guess what? The credit card information they are taking is your customer's credit card information. So you are responsible to your customers to make sure that their data is kept safe. You've transferred that responsibility to a third party. So you are responsible for making sure that that third party is in compliance with PCI DSS. So in your, like, in the case, that is how uh, it is going to work, right? Because if you are accepting Stripe, as soon as the person clicks on the payment, it goes to Stripe's, uh, like, directly. So you don't see the card uh, information. You don't process it. You don't handle it in any way. And also an example, you know, Stripe and Square, now they have, like, a POS system for small shops. So little uh, African markets and little restaurants here and there. If you see, mostly I think it's Square or Stripe, they have like the white uh, POS. So these little shops, what they do is they just take your card, you know, put it in there and the payment, every, so that is just like paying online with your uh, card and it is going straight to Stripe. So when they take your card and they use it, it because that POS system is be, it, like, it belongs to Stripe or it belongs to Square. So if they put in your card, it goes directly to Stripe or Square. So they don't see your card information. They don't, now, they don't see it, they don't process it, they don't store it, right? So yes, but if they have people ordering stuff on phone and you have to tell them your card information for them to put it in, now they are in contact with the card information. Right, so they are transmitting, although they might not be storing it. If they write it down, then it's even worse. Now they have to stay in compliance with PCI DSS. I mean, it's not like PCI DSS is sending like a police around to let to see, but if we are going by the book, then they have to stay in compliance. If it's like a one-time thing that they did, I mean, then that's fine. That is still not fine, but I mean, like nobody will see, <laughs> okay? But if it is like a usual practice, they accept, you know, a payment over the phone, they have to stay in compliance. But if they are using like a payment uh, uh, system from Stripe or from any of these third parties and they don't like their vendor, uh, uh, the merchants don't see your card information, they don't store, they don't transmit any of it, then they don't have to stay in compliance with PCA DSS, but they have the obligation to make sure whoever they are, you know, contracting to do that on their behalf is compliant, right? So. How would they know? You have to ask them before you work with them. You have to ask them for the attestation of uh, a compliance document. So if they have that and you see what dates they passed, if for the past 12 months they are in compliance, then yes, you can work with them, right? 